click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the preparation of melamine formaldehyde synthesis and now in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation of natural rubber. So friends, now in this topic let me give you an information related to the natural rubber. So natural rubber is basically obtained from nature that is from the latex and this latex is basically a formulation, it is colloidal solution which is a combination of this polymer along with that of the water. So in that case basically we have to extract the natural rubber and for that the natural rubber can be prepared from basically considering the isoprene. So for that this is the topic that I am going to talk about the preparation of natural rubber and how basically it has been prepared. So suppose if we have considered that is isoprene that is nothing but CH2 double bond C here I am writing here as CH3 this is CH2 CH double bond CH2 the name of this is basically we could call it as 2 methyl buta 1,3 diene and this is what suppose if we have introduced that is n moles of uh, this monomer and suppose if it undergoes through polymerization process then basically the structure that is the repeating unit that is I'm talking about. So that for the repeating unit is nothing but CH2 single bond C here it will be CH3 here it will be double bond and this is CH here it will be single bond CH2. So therefore this is the repeating unit and this is what we could find as basically a natural rubber. But the thing is there is a double bond over here so therefore there will be formation of a cis isomer or there will be formation of a trans isomer or cis or trans orientation so based on this it has been formed that is the natural rubber it is the structure which is formed because of the cis orientation and talking about trans orientation that is known as gutta percha so this cis isomer of this repeating unit is basically it is elastic in nature and that's the reason that the natural rubber is elastic in nature i am talking about the gutta percha gutta percha is basically is non-elastic because they have a certain structure because of which they can get cross-linked with each other and that's the reason that they are very much rigid compared to that of the natural rubber. So now let me introduce the structure of natural rubber. So the structure of natural rubber is this is what I'm going to talk about that is CH3 here it will be C and here it will be CH2 and this will be the repeating unit and therefore this will be the carbon as you could see the double bond over here and here it will be H and here down it would be nothing but CH2 with the repeating unit and now this CH2 obviously it will combine with the other repeating unit also and the other repeating unit that is what I am going to mention over here. So it will be CH2, here it will be C, here it will be CH3, here it will be double bond and here it will be C. So if you find that is where the CH3 is to opposite there is hydrogen atom. So therefore here also there will be hydrogen atom over here and here there will be a repeating unit that is CH2. So therefore, this is basically the structure of natural rubber. So in this case, basically the isoprene is converted into natural rubber and this is the structure of it. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.